Thanks for staying with us. The artistry and innovation of a very talented musician is coming to the Townsend School of Music in a free concert tomorrow. Joining me to talk about the concert is pianist, vocalist, and international spokesman for the Shalom Initiative, Ken Miedema. Mr. Miedema, thank it's you good so to much be for here. being here. It's we wonderful appreciate to be it. here. Thank you. We're really excited for this. Now, you are a very different type of musician. You have a very inspirational story. First of all, tell our viewers what that story is. Well, <laughs> I grew up uh, as, a, as a, a blind person, and one of the things I discovered fairly early is that I could make music. In fact, I could create music on the spot. And so one of the things that I do now is have people tell me stories in a concert, and I, I sing their stories back to them. Really? And uh, that it's, is amazing. it's kind of unusual. And so uh, what I've been doing for the last 40 years is doing concerts all over the country. Mm -hmm. And one of, the, one of the things that I'm supporting is this thing we're calling the Shalom Initiative. Mm -hmm. Now, Shalom is a word that means much more than just peace. It yes. means it means a condition where um, p people care for each other, and it's a safe place, and it's an economic sharing place. And you know, we have six Shalom zones right here in Macon. So it's the perfect place for you to do this it's concert. It's the perfect. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a, a big celebration tomorrow to celebrate these Shalom zones. I'm going to ask people to tell me stories about the partnerships, I mean, churches and non Profits, Habitat for Humanity, neighborhood organizations get together and create these wonderful places where it's safe, where, where there's non-violence, where it's drug-free, where we share. And we're going to celebrate this stuff, and then people will tell stories about these partnerships, okay. and I'll sing their stories. Well, great. That is amazing. Now, tell me, now, would you say, real quick before we get into your playing, yeah. would you say that your blindness enhances your creativity? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Because um, I... You know, because I, did, I don't see, there's a lot of things I couldn't do as a kid, and a lot of kids didn't play with me a lot, so I spent a lot of time sitting at the piano, making uh, music, you know, it by ear <laughs> and so I think, I, I think that plus the fact that I've always loved mm -hmm. listening to people. I can't see them, so I listen to them. I listen to their voices. I listen to uh, what I can hear about their personalities, and okay. that has been a great help, too. Well, I know you improvise a lot, so I yep. want you to improvise a song for us about the city of Macon and your favorite parts about it. So take it away, Ken. Well, I love this city. Learn to 